Even if Franklin kicks my ass, I'll still fight Fury. There's no better time than to get Fury in the ring now because he needs me to redeem himself from this circus, this letdown. If you beat Tyson Fury, I'll be over the moon. Would you? Yeah, of course. You know, would you like to? Yeah, of course. Are you friendly with him? Not really. But I respect what he's done. I think he called you a dosser. Yeah, but... That's his standard term of abuse. Yeah. Your big dosser. Yeah. He's a bodybuilder. Yeah. He is a businessman. I am a Spartan. Yeah. Have you got one of those fully Tyson Fury dolls? <laughs> no, I'm joking. You, you must like him, though. Um, what makes you say that? Because you can memorize every quote of his. Uh, he's very quotable, isn't he? He is, to be fair. He and is. he's got that distinctive... Like he's eating a frog voice. Yeah. Yeah. Do you think you could beat him? Yeah. Wouldn't be easy, though. No. The bookies, I think, would favor him. Yeah. Do you agree? Yeah. It's a fury, yeah? Well, that's the ball's in his court. I would 100% be honored to compete for the WBC Heavyweight Championship of the world. I stand here and I say that proudly, that would be an honor. So, wherever you are, if you're listening, you know my management, you know my promoter. We've had dialect before, so let's continue this and hopefully we can get this on sooner than later. We ain't getting any younger. After his bout against Wallen Joshua, now wants to face Tyson Fury and became the world champion. Joshua, a two-time heavyweight champion, has recently refocused his efforts on regaining his titles, successfully avenging his loss to Oleksandr Usyk with a unanimous decision victory in August 2022. Now, with his titles back in his possession, Joshua is once again eyeing the ultimate challenge, Tyson Fury. The bout between these two British giants has been a tantalizing prospect for years, but various obstacles, including promotional and political complexities, have hindered its realization. In a recent interview with Sky Sports, Joshua reiterated his unwavering desire to face Fury, emphasizing his readiness for any challenge. I'm always up for it. I'm always ready for any challenge. I'm always ready to go. As I said, I'm sure we'll come to an agreement. I'm ready to get it done. We're both at the top of our game. So it's a fight that needs to happen. Fury, the current WBC heavyweight champion and undefeated in his professional career, has also expressed interest in a showdown with Joshua. However, he remains cautious and has stated that he is waiting for Joshua to prove himself against other contenders before committing to the bout. Despite the hurdles and hesitations, optimism persists that Joshua and Fury will eventually share the ring. The potential clash between these two titans promises to be not only a monumental sporting event, but also a massive financial success, generating unparalleled interest and anticipation across the globe. Boxing enthusiasts eagerly await the day when these two heavyweights finally settle their differences in what would undoubtedly be one of the biggest boxing matches in history. The long-anticipated clash between Anthony Joshua and Tyson Fury, deemed by many as the battle for heavyweight supremacy, continues to be a source of frustration for fans as delays persist due to various factors. In a recent interview, Joshua has thrown verbal jabs at Fury, accusing him of being scared and avoiding a fight during Joshua's prime. Fury is a coward. He's ducking and diving. He's not being man enough to fight me in my prime. He's picking on smaller guys, picking on guys who are older, and picking on guys who are coming up. He's not fighting me in my prime, Joshua boldly declared, expressing his frustration with the prolonged wait for a showdown. In response, Fury has vehemently denied Joshua's accusations, asserting that he is ready to face Joshua at any time and placing the blame for the delay squarely on Joshua. I'm ready to fight Joshua tomorrow. I've been ready to fight him for years. He's the one who is scared. He's the one who is ducking the fight, Fury countered, intensifying the war of words between the two heavyweight giants. In reality, the two would have to face in 2018. But then something changed everything, and their deal to fight fell through. Forget Wilder and them lot. Them lot have been doing my head for so many years. Like you lot have seen now, the shenanigans in the heavyweight division. Even with, uh, I'll be real, like Fury, saying that he was training for Usyk. Sugar Hill come out and said that, no, I'm not training him. 
What do you mean I'm training him for a heavyweight championship fight? You can see all the lies that's been going on. So I don't really waste my time with time wasters. Well, guys, it's official. D-Day has come and gone. It's gone past five o'clock Monday. No contract has been signed. It's officially over for Joshua. He is now out in the cold with the wolf pack. Forget about it. Idiot. Coward. <laughs> Bodybuilder. Always knew it. Always knew he didn't have the minerals to fight the Gypsy King. Regardless of what the you say now, I don't really care. Um, good luck with your career and your life. End of. Peace out. We won't talk about him. He's not worth talking about, is he? You know, he's, he's not a boxer. He's what they call a cameraman, isn't he? You know, he don't fight when he's supposed to fight. You know, and at the end of the day, I don't want to talk about it. The country, the world want to see, especially Britain, want to see Anthony Joshua v Tyson Fury. Tyson Fury v Anthony Joshua, but what we got, we got Chisora. Because Derek Chisora has to stand up for his fellow Brit, but never had the guts or the bottle to box. He only got offered everything across the board, nearly 50-50. He had a super chance what's been left and gone by. He won't get another one. The anticipation for a showdown between Anthony Joshua and Tyson Fury had reached a fever pitch in 2018, with fans clamoring for a battle between the two British heavyweight titans. However, despite the heightened excitement and calls for the fight to materialize, various factors converged to prevent the epic clash from taking place during that year. One significant impediment was the complex landscape of boxing politics, with multiple promotional entities and television networks involved in the careers of Joshua and Fury. Negotiating terms for a bout of such magnitude required navigating a web of contractual obligations, broadcast rights, and promotional interests. The intricacies of these negotiations often lead to protracted discussions, delaying the announcement of a definitive date for the much-anticipated fight. Additionally, both fighters had their own paths and priorities at that time. Anthony Joshua was in the midst of defending his heavyweight titles and solidifying his status as a dominant force in the division. On the other hand, Tyson Fury was on the comeback trail after a hiatus from the sport, overcoming personal challenges and reclaiming his position as a top-tier heavyweight contender. The timing, it seemed, was not perfectly aligned for an immediate collision in 2018. Moreover, boxing is an inherently unpredictable sport, subject to the influence of injuries, contractual disputes, and unforeseen obstacles. These elements can disrupt even the best laid plans, and in the case of Joshua vs. Fury in 2018, the stars did not align to bring the two giants into the same ring. Anthony Joshua, I know you've just lost a fight to Usyk and you're doubtless at the moment, and I'd like to give you an opportunity to fight me for the WBC Heavyweight Championship of the World and the Lineal Championship in the next few months. You're coming off a 12 round fight, so you're match fit, you're ready. Um, I'm giving you a few months notice. Uh, if you're interested, I'll send you the date over and we can rumble. A battle of Britain for the WBC Heavyweight Championship of the World. The much anticipated showdown between the two British heavyweight champions, Anthony Joshua and Tyson Fury, was on the cusp of becoming a reality in 2022. The boxing world was ablaze with excitement as talks between the two camps intensified, and it seemed that the announcement of the bout was imminent. However, just when fans were on the edge of their seats, awaiting the formal declaration, the deal crumbled into disappointment. The precise reasons for the collapse were shrouded in mystery, with no official disclosure of the details. Nevertheless, widespread speculation pointed towards an insurmountable obstacle, an inability to find common ground on the financial terms of the fight. The shattered deal resonated as a seismic letdown for fans and the boxing community alike. This clash had been touted as the zenith of pugilistic spectacle, poised to etch its name in the annals of boxing history and potentially rake in billions of dollars in revenue. In the aftermath of the breakdown, both sides voiced their continued desire to orchestrate the monumental clash. However, the intricacies of the boxing business entangled in the complex interplay of politics and financial negotiations, cast a shadow of uncertainty over the prospects of a renewed agreement. 
As the boxing world turns its gaze to 2024, a palpable sense of opportunity hangs in the air. An opportunity for Anthony Joshua and Tyson Fury to finally converge in the ring and settle the score that has tantalized fans for years. Both heavyweight champions find themselves relatively unencumbered by major commitments, setting the stage for what could be an epic collision. Joshua, adorned with the WBA, IBF, and WBO heavyweight titles, has triumphantly defended his crowns against the formidable Oleksandr Usyk on two occasions. Meanwhile, Fury, the WBC heavyweight champion, is gearing up for a rematch against Usyk in the imminent future. The stars seem to be aligning, offering a window of opportunity for these titans to engage in a historic face-off. Financially, the landscape is more favorable in 2024. The continued success of both fighters has elevated the value of the bout, potentially facilitating a more amicable agreement on financial terms. This could pave the way for a deal that satisfies the interests of both camps. A clash between Joshua and Fury promises to be the zenith of boxing spectacles, with the potential to generate billions of dollars in revenue. The allure of this monumental boot has captured the imaginations of fans worldwide, who eagerly await the moment these two heavyweights step into the ring. With hopes that the COVID-19 pandemic will be under control by 2024, the stage is set for the fight to unfold in front of a packed arena. The raucous atmosphere and heightened excitement from a live audience would undoubtedly add an extra layer of intensity to this already highly anticipated event. In the age of technological advancements, live streaming and pay-per-view broadcasts are poised to make it easier for fans across the globe to witness the action live, expanding the global reach of this colossal showdown. Additionally, the continued growth of social media provides Joshua and Fury with a powerful platform to promote the fight, stoking the flames of anticipation and creating a buzz that resonates with fans worldwide. As 2024 looms on the horizon, the stage is set for Joshua and Fury to etch their names in the annals of boxing history. The potential for a clash of this magnitude has fans counting down the days, yearning for the moment when these two heavyweight juggernauts finally collide in a battle for pugilistic supremacy. Anthony Joshua also gave his pick for Tyson Fury against U Sick. So, um, yeah, good luck to him anyway, but he's got to stop running his mouth because it does come back and bite you. Who wins that fight then, Fury and Usyk? I don't know. I don't know, but I'm Team Usyk anyway. Yeah. Why is that? Because, because there's respect between you. Respect, but you know, Fury said a lot of bad things about me, so I'm never gonna roll. I'm never gonna ride with someone that disrespects me. That's that'll make me a lunatic. I'm pretty level-headed, so I want to go with a person who showed me more respect. Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe and smash the like button if you want to see AJ against Tyson this year.